positioning of this is very important because plants need a lot of sun to grow. So we're looking for a spot in the garden that's got very good light as well as the level ground. When you have the drill in place, just check that the hole saw that you've chosen is the same as the drain fitting. And then look at where you're going to position the hole. It needs to be away from the supports of the grow bed stand, as well as in a position that's easy for you to access. time to place the drain fitting in with the rubber seal at the top of the grow bed. Place that and tighten it from underneath. A tight fit will ensure that there's no water dripping underneath the grow bed. Once we've fitted the drain, you can see that the standpipe will fit snugly into that spot there and the surround will ensure that no expanded clay falls down into the fish tank. This will periodically need to be twisted to ensure that roots do not clog the drain holes. If you're really clever, you'll have an apprentice that can do all the physical work for you. Beautiful. you wrap the drain threaded fitting with thread tape so that you don't get any leaks. Wrap it around a few times. threaded fitting that was supplied in your kit. A 
tight fit will ensure there's no leaks. Then temporarily you can just push on the elbow and attach to the 40 mil pipe which will take the water away as we wash the gravel. Now comes to the fun part. This is when we wash the gravel. It's your initiation into aquaponics. Just get a hose with a spray fitting on it and gently wash over all the clay. This will take you about 10 minutes to wash away all the dust and keep the sludge out of your system. You can push the hose in. This is a perfect time to put your irrigation grid together while the grow bed continues to drain. You will be supplied with a set of grow bed fittings and this goes together just like Lego. Ensure that the pipe that you're using has got the holes drilled into it. Space it out around the bed and make sure that any writing on it is downside. Join the pieces together. So ideally the holes will be facing down. You will have been supplied an extra piece of pipe which is what we need to cut some spaces in to, to put in our tea pieces. This is the point at where the irrigation comes into the bed. Pipe cutter makes things really easy, but a hacksaw will work just as well. <laughs> it's a bit hard when it's slippery. <laughs> 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 